Hey Bruce Vitties, what is up? Today we are going to be building a tree house. Uh, so basically this tree house design, I came up with this pretty cool. I was looking at like some inspirational ones from like real ones and I was like, hey, that's, that's kind of cool. So I was going to like redesign it into Minecraft and we're going to need two trees for this. Exactly uh, 12 blocks apart. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take these up to an, basically a random height. It doesn't really matter. Just make sure that they're fairly tall. Um, and if you guys don't have your height right off the bat, you guys can fix it later on. Um, with, Because I'm going to show you guys how high it actually needs to be. But it needs to be higher than that height because of you know obvious reasons. So basically what we're going to do is take them to the same height. There we go. Okay, that isn't. I can't do that. I forgot. And we're just going to bring them all the way up to the top. Okay, so the blocks that we are going to need are uh, jungle wood. Um, let's use stone bricks, stone brick stairs, uh, we need jungle wood, so we're trying to find that, jungle wood planks, uh, and we can use jungle wood slabs, and we're also going to need glass panes. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go, let's say, 23 blocks up. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, uh, 20. Okay, I guess that's uh, pretty high up. So let me change that number. We don't need it that high up, I guess. So let me, uh, let's about, you want, let's go about 15. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, and I'm just gonna keep the fifteenth block and remove all of the others. Okay, so I turned the fifteenth, I turned it sideways. So what I want to do is I want to take that out by three blocks on this side, three blocks on this side. Uh, and then what we could do is I want to take that block like that. Oh, crap. I'm trying to rotate it and it won't seem to rotate. But what I'm trying to do is, well, I guess I could do it like this. So I'm going to add it four blocks and then the fourth block needs to be rotated like so. So three and then four. So basically you're going to have to work it a little bit and do a little extra work just to get it to face the right way like that. Then what we're going to do is we're going to add one block on each side like so. So like this. We're going to take it to uh, three blocks like this. That's three. And then what we're going to do is we're going to bring it up right like that on the fourth block. There we go. And then we're going to go two blocks, like so. So that's one. And then what we have to do is take this block like that. This is getting a little bit more difficult while we have to do this. So like that. And then like this, so that's one, two, and then what we're going to do is go one like that. So we're taking it one block over, and you guys are going to get a little bit confused at first, but it will be a lot easier in a moment. So as you guys can see how it is, it's um, four, basically it's uh, one two, three, four, and then if you count the same block again, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, one, and then it's the same way over here, and 
trying to get this diagonal. Like, I don't know why it's doing it like that. Okay, and then I gotta go underneath like so. And I'm gonna break these two top pieces like so. Or actually what I could do is I wanna use this here and just go across instead. Make it a little bit easier. So one, two, three, four, and then five, and then six on the corners. So it should look just like that. We're gonna go over to the other side. So what we could do is, well, we're gonna have to do this anyway. So we're gonna drag it across like so. And then I'm gonna connect it to the tree like that. And then I'm gonna come down here, flip this base up like so. And there we go, we have a flipped up piece. <laughs> and there we are. So we have those two flipped up and we have elongated bridge in between. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go one, two, three. One, two, three. And then on the fourth block, it's gonna be the same way, but except we're gonna have to break it like so. And then flip it back upright. And then we can delete the trimmings off the bottom. And then what we need to do is do the same thing to this one right here. Go out by one. Then like this. And there. And then we gotta do the same thing right here on this end over here. I'm trying to break it, there we go. And then one, two, three, four, and there we go. We have it mapped out exactly the same on this side as we do on this side. What we're going to go ahead and do now is we're going to go ahead and fill this in with jungle wood planks all the way around. So please go ahead and do that now. Uh, you guys can use any other types of wood that you guys would like to use besides the ones that I'm using. I'm just using this because it's these woods are easily obtainable in a jungle forest where you guys will probably be building a... Uh, you know, a tree house, or you guys can uh, go get other materials if you guys are doing it another way. But I figured using materials that are easier to obtain would be much better than ones that are not. Okay, so now we're on to the last part right here. What I want to go ahead and do is the parts that are sticking up, I want you guys to raise them to three blocks high. There we go. So I have this one raised to three blocks high, and I'm going to do the same thing on this one over here. So one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. And there we are. What I would like you guys to go ahead and do is actually. Hmm. Let's actually take them to four blocks high. Just make them a little bit taller. That'll give us a little bit more roof room as well. Uh, making the room look a little bit larger than it really is. Well, it will be larger technically, but, uh,. It'll just give it a little bit more depth. What I want you guys to do is, on the top part, is go ahead and keep these pieces of jungle wood slabs up on the upper part and go all the way around like how I am doing. And I'll give you a better aerial view in a second. But basically this is how it needs to look. Um, let me delete this one here because that's going to be there, but this is how it should look. Then what I want you guys to do is go ahead and continue to place them like so, but we're going to actually connect them this time. Oop, did not mean to do that. Like this, so ha see how I'm keeping them always connected? And what that will do is it will reduce the amount of room for, uh, fairly fast. 
And then what we're going to do is do that, like that. Okay, so we have to do this another way. There we are. And then I'm just going to continue to curve all the way around like so. There we go. And I'm going to do it to another one right here. And I'm going to basically remove a lot of uh, parts of the house right there when we did the roof. And what we can do is actually just keep it like this. And we can raise this up by another one like that. So now we have that house part done. And we can go ahead and do it on this side over here. There we are, and then we can continue, like so, all the way around, like how we did on the other one, as I just got done with the trimmings, and I don't want to place one on top, because it'll fuse together, so I'm trying to be very careful, and there we go. And then what I need to do is actually place one there, and then delete, and then, then we can go up like so, and just continue to go all the way around. Ooh. Oh, okay, cool. I thought it was going to fuse together and make a mess. So what we're doing is we're building a type of roof that is very um, slanted and very easy to um, use. And the reasoning for this roof is it kind of gives a little bit more room for the roof. Oh, man. Oh, cool. Keep thinking it's going to fuse together when I place the two slabs on top of each other. And there we go, and then we just got to raise that up there, and there we go. We got two matching sides, like so. So this is going to be a part two of this video here. So please tune in for part two, guys. Thank you guys for watching. Bye, guys.